Hi, I'm Ross. I'm here to talk about Lunatic, the next-gen nucleic acid quantification system. Lunatic makes batch quantification of DNA and RNA a no-brainer. All you need is two microliters and 10 minutes to measure up to 96 samples. With its full-spectrum UEVIS spectroscopy, you can get spot-on quantification of DNA concentrations as low as 1.5 nanograms per microliter or as high as 13,750 nanograms per microliter without standard curves, dyes, or dilutions. Let's compare a lunatic to a dye-based workflow, which has lots of steps. Diluting samples, prepping dyes, and running standard curves takes a lot of time. Lunatic reads samples straight up in a plate format that frees you from reading samples one by one and lets you say goodbye to complicated workflows. And not only will Lunatic save you money and time for sample prep, it also gives crazy accurate and precise answers. How accurate and precise is Lunatic? When you compare target results versus measured results, like we show here, Lunatic delivers answers within 2% of the true value, with a relative standard deviation, or CV, within 1%. Compare these results to assays using dye-based fluorescence, and you'll immediately notice that the precision, linearity, and dynamic range of dyes just can't keep up. Instead of reading samples on Lunatic right away and moving on with your experiment, you'll be wasting time and sample to find the perfect dilution for dye-based methods. Let's load up a plate and check out how a measurement works on Lunatic. Just pipette two microliters of sample into the input wells and you're done. Pretty easy. Now that the plate is all loaded, let's step into Lunatic software so you can see how easy it is to set up an experiment. From Lunatic's home screen, we pick the type of sample we're looking at. Then we pick the application we'll be using. Now we name the experiment and select the plate type. Lunatic plates have a maximum range of about 2,000 nanograms per microliter, and high lunatic plates have a maximum of 13,750 nanograms per microliter. Next, we tell the software which wells have sample and which have blank. We can populate a new plate manually, or we can simply import and pull in all the information from an Excel file. Then we can apply sample groups, and if we want, we can change sample names, as well as review to make sure all the samples are correct. With one last review screen, we're ready to load the plate and start the experiment. And if you are using any kind of liquid handler or lab automation, this entire process can be handled by our fully functional API. Lunatic keeps track of which samples it's measured and lets you know how far along it is. That way you can take care of something important while it does its thing. Hey, sounds like my samples are done. Once Lunatic is done measuring, it passes the results over to the analysis software. The overview of the plate shows the concentrations and the absorbance spectra from all the samples. If everything looks good, we can just export the data to a report from here. But let's zoom in to look closer at the results. Here are the results for one sample. Depending on how purification is done, nucleic acid samples can be messy and full of impurities that absorb UV light and interfere with quantification. Old UV-Vis systems use things like the A260-A280 ratio to tell if that is happening. But Lunatic has a smarter way. Lunatic comes packed with lots of unmixed applications that let you see the absorbance from impurities that other UV-Vis systems would mistake as DNA or RNA. That helps you understand if that reading is coming from common components like proteins, EDTA, phenol, or more, all depending on the workflow that your sample came from. With its combination of accuracy, precision, high throughput, and dynamic range all read on a low sample volume, Lunatic truly is the next-gen nucleic acid quantification system. That's a look at how Lunatic handles your quant problems. Join us next time as we tackle more science.